Look at this fantastic spicy box. Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael, and Ooh. this is... Spicy. Spicy. It's getting spicy in here. It's hot. Well, Michael's hot. All, day, all day out in the sun, so yeah. Did you guys know there's crazy. a big ball of fire up in the sky that turns your skin red and hot? <laughs> it does it. And it <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah. I don't go out there, so I don't know these things. Yeah. It makes my skin spicy. Spicy. Actually, I don't think that's how it works. Hey, let's play Spicy. This is from... Heidel, this? Heidel Bear. Heidel, Heidel, Heidel Bar? Heidel Bear? Heidel Bear. Uh, two to six players and plays in it's about... It's so shiny, guys. 15 minutes. Look, I mean, these cards are like super shiny. Ooh. Look at that. They, they will like reflect. Michael, you're so white. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Oh, I've got the golden ticket. I got the teal ticket. And even the box I got the is red like ticket. shiny, shiny. And so this is like a series that they're doing of card games. They're all like shiny. But you know what? Shiny and I'm, spicy. I'm going to show them off because I have them right here. Yes. But they're three plus players. And we can't play these. So I haven't opened them yet, but I'm excited to try them. And I bet they have all shiny sort of like... Coyote? Yeah. But it's shiny mostly from the wrapping. <laughs> it's also shiny because the box is shiny. But yeah. And then... Anansi. 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 Anyway, these are three plus player games, so... Harder to play them. Yep. Hey, but like, Steph is a week away from getting her second shot. Yay! And I am a week and a couple of days away. And yeah, then... and. James and Susan of James and Susan fame. Um, <laughs> they have also... James and Susan fame? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who we often mention around here. They have also gotten their first dose and are about to get their second dose the same day I am. So, yeah. their kids are not, but Eventually we we'll get those three-player games. Eventually we will get them for three-player games. So I'm That's excited. Yes. So, yeah. But um, this one is two players. This one is two players. Two to, two to six. six. Yes. Yeah, two, six. Two to six, as I said. Yeah, I believe. Like I said. <laughs> so, um, the artwork on these is great. Um, so you've got, in this game, you've got Peppa and Chili's. Chili. And Wasabi. Wasabi. And there are also wild cards and wild spices, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a wild spice quickly enough. Ta-da! Look at that wild spice. So there's a one. There are three each of one through ten in those three suits. Yeah. And several of the five of each of the wild spice and wild number. So going to shuffle these up. Did you already put the card in? No, there? I didn't. Oh, okay, cool. I wanted I'll to show them. If you want. I wanted to show them how it was. It's fine. I got it. He's been pulling. I've weeds, been pulling weeds, so and so. Hair. Yeah, my after pulling, we had pulling, a lot of weeds. I had a, he <laughs> hand pulled a bunch of weeds. Um, yeah, so that's not fun. So the way that they tell you to start is they tell you to go ahead and deal six cards to each player. Then take this handy dandy card level guide. Right? You see where it says two, and then three to four, and then five to six. Yeah. That's how far into the deck you will place this card. Mm -hmm. This teal card signifies game end. So. I am going to put this. I'm going to look and see where the two is. I'm going to take off a number of cards until it is approximately. Approximately. Where the two is. A little bit deeper than that. Yeah. I don't know. How's that look to you? <laughs> hey, thanks how's for that look? following. Boom. How's that look? Grillo? Thank that, you. Yeah. Doesn't look good. Seems really good. Uh, that's where I'm going to put it. All right. Boom. And then I'm going to put those on top. So, um, we've also got three trophies. I will talk about how to achieve a plus 10 trophy. There are three of them. Oh, yeah. So, we can go ahead and, I guess, go to the overhead. Uh, so, oh, yeah, not only that, there are also ways that you can change the game to the advanced game. I think we are just, excuse me, going to play the standard game. Yeah, we're going to do the standard game, and then we'll talk about those at the end, probably. Um, so, so, what so. we're going to do, uh, you're going first, Steph? Yeah, because yeah, you lost last time. I'm a loser. <laughs> well, I, mean, I wasn't going to say it. Um, 
you are either going to play a card on your turn or pass. Hmm. So, um, the first card of each spicy stack, spicy stack, is got to be a one, two, or three in a spice of your choice. And then cards that are placed on top are going to be in that same spicy suit, but a higher number. Right. When you get to a 10 of that suit, then the next one can be a one, two, or three of that same spice. Yep. Whether it's pepper or chili or wasabi. So, um, here's the catch. It doesn't have to be truthful. Yeah. Right. So here's the other catch. If she thinks I'm bluffing, she puts a paw on top of it. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Because there are different... There's, this is a game where there are three different cats. Once Story time. Once upon a time, three big cats became exhausted, fighting to be top cat. They agreed to quit the fight and spice up their nine lives with a hot spice eating contest. Alas, everyone was soon cheating, so the cats invented a very hot, often tearful, bluffing game. So, there are three different types of, of animal critters. There is... What do we got? We got the, the, what did you say it was? The cheetah? Cheetah. We got the leopard and we got the tiger. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can see some of them as they're fighting here with these cards. So, as I was going to mention at the start of the game that there's no lion there. But there is lion here in the game. So if you can. This was my joke. No, this is the joke that you said that you rolled your eyes at so hard that I could hear it hit the back of your uh, head. No, th- this is what I said, and it took you like two seconds to understand what I was saying. And then you're like, oh my God, that's so good. That's so good. And I use it. I so. know, because I thought of it. it so you, you, put your, <laughs> you, put your, you put your paw on top of the spicy stack, and you say, you know, if she said this was a nine chili, I can either say not nine or not chili. Right. And then we reveal uh, the Sherry card. said, Sherry said, thanks for the, the flavor, flavor text. text. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Drew said he had a spicy pickle today. Since we're talking, about I like spice. spicy pickles. Oh, okay. I like it. spicy pickles are tasty. Yeah. So put your paw on it, and then we will reveal it. If I said not nine, right. And it's supposed to be a nine chili and it's a nine pepper. Right. She's good to go. Because I didn't say not not whatever it was, not chili. Chili. I said not nine. But it wasn't nine. Yeah. So she could be lying with one, the other, or both. She could lie with whatever card she wants to put down there. It I, doesn't matter. Yeah, you just have to call me on so it, right? Whoever wins the challenge gets the stack. Whoever loses the challenge has the draw two cards and then starts the next spicy stack. So, at the time someone plays their last card, they announce that it is their last card. If nobody challenges that last card, um, the next so the next card can only be played after everyone at the table says we are not going to challenge it. So, you are going to collect a trophy if your last card is not challenged, or if your last card is challenged and you win and the you challenge, win yeah. then you are going to get one of those trophies. Hey, every card that's collected in your spicy stacks are worth one point each, no matter the value of the card. This, obviously, worth ten. Obviously. So, after a player gets their second trophy, or after all three trophies have been collected, or after you hit that, after you reveal the teal colored card, the game is over. Immediately over. So, um, otherwise, the game continues, and the player who collected that trophy draws six new cards in hand, because we start with six, and we continue. So the other player will have a little bit of an advantage for getting that second trophy, um, but I will have the advantage for getting that third trophy. Stealing hot, hot, hot. Are you? Ooh. So, the wild cards show all numbers are all spices. Wilds can still be caught. Because if she plays a wild number and I play, I say not pepper. That, no, that's not a pepper. That's not any spice at all. So you can still get caught. And same with the wild spice. If I say not a four and it's an all spice card, 
you're busted. Busted. So, this takes mechanisms from other quite similar bluffing games, but I think it does it in a slightly new way. So. And it's shiny. And they're very shiny. It's and very, very attractive. Very attractive game. So, um, that should be about it. Why ready don't, for this? Why, are you ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, one chili. Three chili. Five chili. Seven chili. Mm. Mm. Nine chili. Ten chili. <laughs> she looked at me with a snarl. What is this? Mm. One chili. Not chilly. Ah! <laughs> the look on her face. I can hardly tell. <laughs> yeah. I got I'll draw you. two cards. You got. Oh yeah, I oh. forgot to mention. You can also pass and just draw a card. Yes, you can pass and draw a card. Oh, I start the new stack. How about that one, Peppa? Hoss and Pfeffer. Not, not a pepper. How about two cards? Ah. Uh. One wasabi. I, I start. Oh, yeah, you start. Get out of here. One wasabi. Two wasabi. Seven wasabi. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta draw a card. Ten wasabi. <laughs> One wasabi. Not, not a, not a one. <laughs> you have all these cards. <laughs> Take those two cards. Uh, one, two. Yeah. <clears throat> one Peppa. Eight Peppa. It's my last card. You can have it. Oh, uh. Do I take the stack? I think so, you win. Let me look. Uh-oh, did everybody vote for me? I'm really sorry in, in advance. Who will win spicy? Uh, zero to 900 and I see only twos on there. Pink twos. I know. So, this is like a bluffing pressure luck game and you're voting for Steph? It's a mistake. Ring it off, ring it. <laughs> I Come on, someone, to, vote for I me. I happen to get Oh, lucky. yeah, 10. 10 points for me. Cheers. So what? Do you get this or no? Mm. I think you get it because you, you ran out of cards. I'm looking. I'm looking. Otherwise, the game continues and the player who collected a trophy draws six cards. I don't know. So what it was. you said it was eight, eight pepper and you did not challenge it. Right. I had to look what it is. <laughs> right. So now is it to me? It's to you. All right. Nine pepper. Ten pepper. Not pepper. Pepper. Dang it! <laughs> so bad at this game. <laughs> it's you. Two chili. Three chili. Six chili. Seven chili. Not chili. It is seven and a chili. I don't lie. Yes, you lie. Come on. I don't lie. Meat. Yeah. Two pepper. Three pepper. Four pepper. Five pepper. Not five. It was not anything. <laughs> it was not anything. You're right. It's not anything. <laughs> oh. Hey, Derek. Thanks for subscribing, Derek. Woo! Woo! Eight months straight. Eight months. I feel like we all just did this like a day ago. Um, <laughs> this isn't the mind. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> one wasabi. Two wasabi. Ten wasabi. <laughs> Two 
Two wasabi. Four wasabi. Not a four. <laughs> Come on! What are you doing? Uh, playing truthfully. <laughs> Too chilly. Five chilly. Ten chilly. Not a ten. Oh, it is a ten and a chili. Uh. Oh, no. Uno. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dan. Oh, yeah? One pepper. A nine pepper. Not a pepper. It is a pepper. How about that? And I went out of cards. As your trophy, Yay! there's six cards. I might actually win this, guys. <laughs> 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 no. Too chilly. Oh. Too chilly, you say? Yes. Hmm. Nine chilly. I will draw. <laughs> oh no, it's over. Oh, it's over. It's that's a, a blue. That's it, a it's a teal. blue card. It kind of looks like the black card, but it is blue. Hey, let's see who won. Oh, I got a 10. I also have a 10. 11. 11. 12. 12. 13. 13. 14. 14. 15. 15. 16. 17. 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, um, so oh, that's so funny. 26, Michael got 27. This is ridiculous. Oh, uh, no, I had 28, 20. not 27. Oh, 28. You can't be short me points. I want to. I know you want to. Oh, my God. So, 28 for me, 26 for you. Whoosh. How about that? I'm sorry to everybody with the channel points. Who voted against me? Congratulations for whoever, the few people who have voted <laughs> for me. I what was up, so man? close. I was so close. I'm so sorry. Who went spicy? 2% for me. They're going to win 46 times. They're 20. <laughs> We're like, sorry, They're Steph. 20. Not sorry. <laughs> not sorry. You're going to win 46 times your bet. That seems pretty good. Because nobody else voted for me. <laughs> Who else wins? I know somebody else wants because they were two tens, I think. So that's going to be 230 for one group and 230 for the other group. I voted for you, you <laughs> every other lost. time and you lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's true. That's funny. That I mean that is I'm really sorry. I always like I always tell people to not no, vote, vote for me. Vote for no. no, I say don't vote. I know what I'm gonna lose. Too much pressure. And then everybody votes for him and then I win and nobody gets it. Nine hundred and twenty go to <laughs> who does that? Weirdman and Dr. Sign. Believed in me. So anyway, that's spicy. Talk about those uh, red cards. Oh yeah, so these red cards can change the rules of the game. And we didn't play with them because we wanted to show you how the normal game was. But I will explain these to you. Oh yeah, if you're playing with more than it's two a, people, anybody can call anybody who's playing. At yes, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to be the next player. And that's different in a lot of different versions of this type of game. Yeah. Where only the next person can call. That's not true on this one. Right. Because like Anybody in can. Illusion, only the next player can call right, BS. Right, right, right. Which I'm, I find that I love Illusion. But that's the one flaw in Illusion is that I can't stop right. the person, you know, next after me if there's anybody else in line. Correct. So, I agree. Yeah. Um, so, uh, anyone can call anybody. They just put, that's why they put their paw on it and say, not Pepper. And a lot of that has to do with what you've seen in your hand, too. So, I, when I, I said, I when win. I said no seven or no pepper or no chili, whatever it was, I had a seven chili in my hand. Mm -hmm. So, 
that was a good chance that something was not right there. Maybe. Um, maybe. So, yes. When, uh, so, yeah, that's good. Um, in the Spice It Up variant, there are several different ways to make the game spicy. Let me move it off of Steph's face. Um, we love chili. If you can legally declare one, two, or three in any spice, you can declare chili instead of the required spice. And it will change the suit of that stack yeah. to chili. So we're in the wasabi group. We get to a 10. And then that's in play. We can now play one to three chili. Yeah. If you can legally declare one, two, or three in a spice, you can declare chili. Mm -hmm. uh, six equals nine. Sixes are nines. Nines are sixes. So if I play a six and call it a nine... And she challenges it and says, not nine, and it's a six. It's good. That's good. It's a good, it's, it is a failed challenge by Steph. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the Spice Raider. If you declare a four, put your paw on the spicy stack. Unless your card is challenged, you're going to win all those cards under your paw as soon as the next card is played. The game, the game then continues with only that newly played card there. So, if no one challenges it. It's yours. Okay. So, this one here. This one is called... What is this one called? This is not change your luck. This, what is this? It's it's on... If, if you play an 8 to 10 value, you can then start Oh, that's again. this is called start it up. After an 8, 9, or 10, you can also declare a 1, 2, or 3. The spice may not be changed. So it doesn't have to get all the way to 10 in order to start again. So after an 8, you can make it a 1 through 3. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can play an 8 through 10 and then you're 1 through 3. It means after anyone has played an 8, 9, or 10 and yeah. you're the next to go, you don't have to actually get it to 10. You can change it if it were an 8 or a 9. You can then say 1. Of whatever it is, or two. Yeah, the same suit. Yes. Still, it has to still say, stay the same suit. All right, this one is called Change Your Luck. So, when you declare a five, immediately add up the two extra cards from your hand underneath that five. And then draw that many cards from the deck into your hand. And uh, those extra cards are not affected by a challenge. So if they're cha but they are going to go to whoever... Uh, challenges it if they are if they're found to be correct so yeah last but not least we have something called copycat um, after anyone has played a turn you can copy their turn by declaring the exact same card yourself <laughs> even if it's not your turn oh. the game continues with the player to the left of the copycat. Wow. So it can switch the turn you order said drastically. Seven chili right after my seven chili. Yes, I could have. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there was a couple times in the game where I wanted to do that. Like you played like a, a nine of something. I'm like, I also have a nine of something. Now, I couldn't play my seven chili. Uh, like I, I had two six chilies at one point in the game. I could not play a six chili and then play a six chili on myself. Because it's after another player has done it. Right. So. Yeah. It's a nice little card game. Not great at bluffing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On the plus side, I did much better this game. Yes, you than did. Than the other game. Yep. I was just really bad at calling you on what you were doing. Yeah. I'm good at sneaking them in when they need to be sneaked in. Sneak snooked. And I do these amazing things that shouldn't be true, but are totally true. Mm -hmm. You just you just don't get me when I'm lying. I know. It's stupid. <laughs> I am a really really good trader. You are. It's, it's I am. I am a scary good trader. Stupid. <laughs> That's why everybody thinks I'm the trader in Battlestar. Everybody. I could be playing a straight human game and totally be a human, and they're like, "No, he's lying." The thing he's is, he's playing. I'm Mon, like, I'm helping the humans. What do you want me to do? T Mod's like, he can read you like a book. I'm like, everybody can read me like a book. That's why she doesn't play. I don't. She doesn't play trader games at all. Mm -mm. You'll play warehouse, but yeah, you don't want to be the trader. Look at that. Look how different that is. You're all red. I am totally. I mean, that is a huge difference there. Red, red, red. <laughs> <Spicy>. White, red. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spicy. 
All right, we'll be right back. More games. More games. More games.